This is Bob at Twilocity.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use spell checker uh, and the custom dictionary to improve your writing. This document is uh, from the Twilocity.com About Us web page and I've intentionally misspelled a couple of words and um, you will see the misspelled words are in here with a red underlining. There are several here, including Twilocity. I'm going to show you how uh, for, to create uh, or to add words to the dictionary, uh, such as your name, which might come up as a, a spelling error, or in this case, Twilocity. There's also um, some green underlined words uh, in the document and I will explain those to you as we go along but first we need to uh, set the spell check for grammar and style to do that you go to tools options and spelling and grammar and you want to make sure that you've got your uh, the boxes on this top page checked the way I do uh, so you can pause the video and set your uh, spell check the same as this and then in the writing style drop down box there are two styles grammar only or grammar and style use the grammar and style because there are more options uh, which will allow Microsoft to uh, check more of your your paper it doesn't check as well as Twilocity.com does, but it does give you some kind of quick feedback. So within there, uh, we want to uh, select grammar and style, and then click on the settings box. And you want to set um, your copy of the settings the same way as I have them. Uh, there, there's three drop-down boxes here under require, and you need to set those the way I do. Always. Uh, inside and uh, two spaces. Um, those are related to uh, the style and especially uh, these match up with APA 6 edition which is the current edition of uh, the style guide for many colleges. Uh, and then these boxes under grammar and style every one of them is checked because I, I want the maximum check that Microsoft Word will provide. So you just say, OK, OK. Actually, we should probably have said, well, let's recheck the uh, document. So we go back, spelling, grammar, uh, recheck the document here. OK, yes. Now, what, as long as I'm here again, uh, the custom dictionaries is where you can uh, add words. It, it's your own personal dictionary, but uh, you can add words that are not in a, a standard dictionary. You can do this two ways. You can either come in here and click on the modify button, and for instance, there's my last name because that always uh, shows up as a misspelled word. And you can uh, just go ahead and type them in there. Or as you come across them, I'll show you how, for instance, for twi Twilocity. Uh, Twilocity shows as a red underlined word. Red underlined means spelling error. Uh, green underlined means uh, grammar error. So for Twilocity, if I right mouse click on it, uh, well, I've already got in the custom dictionary the possessive of Twilocity. But let's add this one uh, to it. And you'll notice that here we have several of those Twilocities all underlined in red. But once I add it to the dictionary and it goes into the custom dictionary, those all disappear. Uh, for these that I intentionally misspelled, um, it's just a matter of right mouse clicking and selecting the word that you wanted. Or if it's spelled correctly, you can just do ignore or ignore all, and it will ignore all of those spellings. Or you can add it to the dictionary. 
In this case, we want to uh, take the selected word or the offered word and here. Okay, now spaces between sentences here. Um, you can probably barely see this. I'll zoom in a little bit. But it, there is a green underline here, and when you right mouse click, there it appears as if there's just a period. But there's a period in two spaces following that. But you can always click on this about this sentence, and it will give you a little bit of information, one or two spaces between sentences. So if I agree with with uh, the comment there, I can right mouse click and accept it and you can do that throughout. Now down here we've got a, a passive uh, sentence. What does that mean uh, about this sentence? And you can click on that and, and uh, read what a passive uh, voice is and this has to be rewritten. Now here I have a whole paragraph that's underlining green. Why would that be? Because it's one long sentence and uh, one long sentence is very, uh, you can get lost in the twists and turns of the sentence, so it's a good idea to break it up into smaller sentences. So I have some some work for me to do today uh, to correct this before I post this out there. Anyhow, that is the custom dictionary and the uh, settings required to get the maximum out of the uh, spell check, and I hope this was helpful to you.